a few weeks back, this channel finally hit 1,000 subscribers after 319 days and 32 uploads. But if you want to get there much, much faster than I did, then there's a few things that you need to know. As you can see in my analytics, over the lifetime of the channel, my subscriber growth has been very, very shaky. There's no explosions in growth, there's no massive spikes, and in fact, it's been quite slow overall. But if you compare the subscriber growth with the video views, you can see that one metric has been much more successful. I got over 111,000 views before I hit 1,000 subscribers, which is actually a pretty big problem because I haven't managed to convert those thousands of viewers into people who want to watch more. So what exactly have I been doing wrong? Well, I think in part, it's down to the style of videos that I've been making. Many of my most successful uploads over the last year have been purely based around keyword research, where I attempt to answer YouTube-related questions based on what people search for on Google. And the way I normally look for video ideas is by using a tool like TubeBuddy, where I search for keywords or phrases that have a high search volume, but not too much competition. I then use the best keyword as the topic of my video and include it in the title. And this is something called SEO, or Search Engine Optimization, which is a method of trying to get your content to appear in search results. So if you target problems that people are looking for solutions to, then this is quite an easy way of getting some views for your channel. But there is just one problem. Whilst this is a great way of getting people to watch, this is not a great method for getting people to stick around. Once they've got the answer they're looking for, they're gone because there's no reason for them to subscribe. What I really want to do is move away from people solely finding my videos through search and get YouTube to recommend my content as well. And I want to do this by moving into some broader topics and focusing more on those title and thumbnails to appeal to a wider audience. And the numbers in your analytics are a brilliant place to learn exactly where you need to improve. For example, I uploaded a video about how to upload on YouTube, which is almost 10 minutes long and it's actually got a decent amount of views. But if we scroll down to the audience retention, people are only watching it for an average of 23% of the video. And look, in the first 30 seconds, people are already clicking away, which tells me that the introduction is just not engaging enough. So this is how I reacted. A few weeks later, I made another keyword-based video called What Does a Highlighted Comment Mean on YouTube? It has 20k views in total, and look at that audience retention. On average, people are watching 70% of this video, and the first 30 seconds are much more engaging. Now, this video is only 1 minute and 25 seconds long, so it is much, much shorter, but that's exactly the point I'm making. With this channel, I've tried making shorter videos, I've tried longer videos, I've tried different styles of intro, different styles of thumbnails, because I've been trying to figure out exactly what works best. So if the click-through rate on your thumbnail is low, change it. If your newest video isn't getting any views, then change the title. It really can work. And if people aren't subscribing to your channel, then you need to tell them to. On YouTube, you need to be constantly doing the simple things really well. For example, you should be asking people to subscribe to your channel in every single upload, preferably within the first couple of minutes. And honestly, this is something that I've been really terrible at in my videos, but it really does work, even if you use a simple animation. And it's not just subscribers you need to be asking for either. Always encourage your viewers to leave a comment, but don't just say leave a comment down below. You need to be telling them exactly what to write or ask them a question related to the video. So if you're watching this video right now, I want you to leave a comment down below saying Darth Vader sent me. So anybody that's not watching the video all the way through will look down in the comments and think, what the hell are they on about? You also need to be replying to every single comment that you receive, and you should encourage people to hit the like button for a specific reason. So if you're looking to get 1,000 subscribers this year, hit that like button. Another very simple thing that you need to nail down in order to build an audience is your niche. When it comes to building a YouTube channel, variety is not the spice of life. People will subscribe to you for a certain, very specific reason, normally because they liked one or two of your previous videos. For example, this channel is all about YouTube growth. So if I turned around and started uploading travel videos, then most people would probably unsubscribe because this is not what they signed up for. 
So my advice is to try and figure out your niche really quickly and then double down. Which brings us on to consistency. In recent years, YouTube themselves have played down the importance of uploading to a specific schedule after many creators complained about burnout. And look, it is actually true that the algorithm doesn't really look for consistency, but it's your audience that really does care about how often you upload. If your subscribers don't see regular uploads from your channel, chances are they might even forget why they subscribe to you. In the early days of this channel, you can see here that I was basically uploading weekly, but at a certain point, I decided to focus on quality rather than a specific schedule. Now, this did seem to get my channel some more views and those videos I think were of a higher quality, but overall, my subscribers weren't coming back to watch them. And I think that's probably because the break between uploads was just too long. So going forward, I need to find that balance. I think I'm gonna stick slightly more rigidly to an almost weekly schedule, even if that does reduce the quality by 10 or 20%, because you really do want people who are subscribed to you that are looking out for your next upload. Now, if you've ever asked yourself, what do YouTube tags actually do? Then you should watch this video next to find out because there's some really interesting results in there. And I'll see you guys in the next video.